Thank you for supporting our channel. Now, let's take a look back at Zuke and Chutoro's sushi made of tuna. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to make Chutoro nigiri. Here I have a beautiful Chutoro saku. You can see the nice moderate fat in the meat and it has a moist texture. It's the earth of nature. As you can see, this part is in between the toro and akami and has a moderate fat. This is so beautiful. When you slice the fish for sushi topping, put the bread vertically to the fish at first, just score the surface, then start slicing the fish angle and gradually slice it down in one stroke. And hold your knife upright position and cut it through. Place the slice side up, make a thin cut on the surface to create a unified texture and make it easy to bite through. And the slit catches the soy sauce applied later. Make a shallow cut on the surface in the same intervals. Now the chutoro is ready to shape into nigiri. First, let's see how the chef shapes it into nigiri at his natural speed. Now let's see it little slower. The best way to eat chutoro is the nigiri. Hold the fish on your fingers and apply the wasabi. Place a small amount of rice shape into a bowl with the other hand and put it on top of the wasabi. Next, make a hole in the center of the rice with your index fingers to make room for the air inside the rice. This step will contribute a fluffy texture that goes well with chutoro. Reshape the rice into a bowl without squashing to keep the room we have just created. Gently hold it to keep the sushi and rice together. Flip it over and tighten the sides. Then rotate and tighten it again from the other side. After tightening the sides, Press the corner to make a nice shape. Once you're happy with the shape, brush the nikiri soy sauce on top and grip it lightly to make it round. I like to finish in this way. This is my way of nigiri shaping. Next, I will introduce how to make zuke. We use akami for zuke, but it doesn't look like normal akami, isn't it? This is an akami but it has been blanched quickly and soaked in ice water. Some chefs make zuke with a kami in saku shape, marinate before slicing it, but in my case, I make zuke with blanched akami after slicing it. This is my art of sushi. Look at that color. It's so beautiful. Slice the prepared tuna diagonally for the size of the nigiri. Make a shallow cut on the surface. This will create a unified texture and make it easy to bite through. Now, let's soak the tuna into my special zuke soy sauce. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. It looks good. Line them on the kitchen towel and pat dry to remove excess sauce. Hold the fish on your fingers and apply the wasabi. Place a small amount of rice shape into a bowl with the other hand and put it on the wasabi. Next. Make a hole in the center of the rice bowl with your index fingers 
to make a room for the air inside the rice. This step will contribute a fluffy texture that goes well with zuke. Reshape the rice into a bowl with a squashing and keep the room we have just created. Gently hold it to keep the fish and rice together. Flip it over and tighten the sides. Then rotate and tighten it again from the other side. After tightening the sides, press the corner to make a nice shape. Once you're happy with the shape, brush the nikiri soy sauce on top and grip it lightly to make it round. I like to finish in this way. This is my way of nigiri shaping. You can make a wide variety of sushi from a block of tuna. Be creative to make original sushi. Course link is available in the description box. We hope you will make your own unique sushi for your customers and loved ones. This is the Samurai Sushi Spirits.